Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say shalom. Okay, the title of this lesson is You'll Have to Lose Your Life to Save It. Okay, and when I say lose your life, not literally lose your life where you, you and it's, you know what, excuse me, there's going to be some martyrs that have to be put to death. But when I say lose your life in this context, I mean denying your flesh. All right. You may have to lose out on the life that you once lived, you know, not necessarily lose out, but deny the life you once lived, going to the club or, or, or partaking in shit in the world. That's losing your life. All right. It's 4th of July coming up, not partaking in some family barbecue or, or, or Versus going to go out and, you know, and, and, and listen to the word and push the word. All right. You know, you're going to have to um, miss birthdays, miss holidays, all, you know, all these wicked holidays, all the shit that you used to do in the world. You're going to have to lose out on. You may have to lose out on job opportunities. You may have to lose out on money. All right. You know, all these things you're going to have to lose in order to save your life. In order to receive salvation, in order to be redeemed by Yahweh Shai. All right. And it's a it's, hey, and right now, because, you know, the destruction hasn't come. You can't see, you know, the Yahweh Shai hasn't came back with the host of heaven. You know, we can't see the kingdom. It it, 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 it seems like a, a crappy deal, but it's the best deal that you can get denying your life. Excuse me, denying your flesh and losing your life for your Yahweh Shai's Yahweh Shai sake. OK, for the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai. OK. Because you're going to, hey, it's going to, hey, and, and the closer and closer we get, all right, the hopeful elect, the elect out there that's prophesying and laboring in this truth, that's are prophesying the downfall of this place, are going to be like the ones that's losing out, all right? We're going to be without, all right? We, we may have to, you know, brothers may be, have to be homeless, all right? Brothers may have to uh, uh, lose their house, their car, all right? Worldly shit, you know, you may have to lose out on a lot of this stuff, Lo- you know, uh, um, you know, losing the life that you know. You know, your family may forsake you. Your 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 your, your wife, your kids may leave. All right, hey, all of that's losing your life. Okay, and some brothers may have to go through that. Some may not have to. Okay, but it's all a part of your walk. It's all of your part of your walk in this faith. Okay, you have to you know believe that Yahweh Shai, the scripture says that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you have to be diligently seeking. And when these tough times come, you, you'll already know what time it is. You won't bug out like the rest of the world. You won't bug out where, you know, you, you, you're you you're on the fence about, you know, taking the chip and not taking the chip. OK, you, you, you want to have your faith built up in that day. So when that hour of temptation comes, you already know what time it is. All right. That's losing, not losing your life. And a lot of Jake's out there that, that, that believe in this truth. You know, we're going to see where your faith is at in that day. OK, because it's a, it's a lot of Jake's that's, that, that's going to, you know, want to continue in this world that, that really don't want to see America fall because they're not willing to lose their life. All right. And those 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 two thirds of Israel that that don't forsake that, excuse me, that they don't forsake their, this their, this wicked life that they're living. They're going to go down with this place. All right. So let me hop right into the scriptures. This is first John chapter two and verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. All right. Love not this world. Love not. What has this wicked world done for you, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans? It has done nothing but but destroy us, pollute our minds. All right. Pollute our bodies with the with the with the, you know, the food and the, 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 the poison that we put in our bodies. Everything in this world has polluted us. Okay, the only thing that has not polluted us is this truth. All right, this truth is 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 a, a, a really going to pure. It, this truth really purifies you, okay. But this world has destroyed us. This is love, not the world. Neither the things in this world. All right, you're not supposed to love this world. Everything in this world, everything in this world we see is is wicked and defiled. All right, because you're going to find out that this world, you know, if you're walking in this truth, this world don't don't love you. All right, this world despises the truth. This world despises the prophet. This world despises Yahweh Shai. 
Okay, so why would you love a place that despises your Lord, despises your Savior, despises you? All right, hey, Jake in general, this world hates you Israelites. All right, and you Jakes need to wake up to that fact. That's a fact that this world hates you Israelites. Okay. All right, verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. All those things are of the world, the, the, the lust of the flesh. All right. That, you know, lusting after, you know, things that we know is not good for us. All right. Being covered, having a, a, a lustful uh, um, coveting after things that's not good for us. You know, having that that lustful, uh, that 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 lust of the flesh. All right. The lust of the eyes, seeing things that 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 we want, all right, because we see them with our eyes and, and stuff that we necessarily don't need. Okay, Jake sees shit and, and they'll do any and everything to get it. All right, Jake sees Jake sees some shoes or a car. They they'll do anything and, and, and they power to get it. All right, to, to to you know just to try to fit in to keep up with the Joneses. All right, that's the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. Our people are prideful as hell, and we at the bottom right now. Only thing we have to be prideful about is this truth. All right. Our Lord, Yahweh, Shai. be boastful and prideful about that. Not nothing, not knowing the material shit that you got in this world. OK, but hey, that's that's the spirit of our people. Our people are prideful. All right. They're prideful against their own people. They're prideful, they're prideful against the prophets. All right. Like like, you know, they they, they'll, they'll, they scoff at the prophets. That's, that's, that's pride. Our women are prideful. All right. Um, it's not of the Father, but of the world. All those things are of the world, not of the Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, all right? And the world passes away, and the less thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. All, everything that we see is going to pass away. This wicked world, the wicked ways uh, uh, of man are going to pass away. All this wickedness that you see is going to pass away, and our people that indulge in it, or they're going to pass away right along with it, lest they repent and, and deny they, deny their their flesh, all right, and lose their life, all right, and, and come into this truth and, and you know and seek redemption, seek salvation. Okay. Um next scripture I want to grab is the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 16 and verse 24. I'll start at 24. And it reads, uh then said Yahweh Shia to his disciples, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. And take up his cross and follow me. You have to deny yourself. Okay? If you want to follow the how about Shimia Shah, if you want to reseek, if you want to be saved, all right? The Christians always talk about being saved, but Christians don't deny themselves. All right? A Christian is not going to give up pork. A, a, a Christian is not going to uh, stop committing adultery, uh, stop being a damn homo. All right? Christians aren't going to do these things. All right? The, the Christian church welcomes all of that. All right? They say, come as you are and all that wicked shit. All right. The Christians don't deny themselves. They're not going to give up their life. All right. Christian, a Christian mindset is their lifestyle is going to their The Bible's got to go along with their lifestyle. All right. For whomsoever will save his life shall lose it. And whomsoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. All right. You have to lose your life. All right. And there are going to be martyrs out there that literally lose their life for your how about you have a shy sake. But those are going to be raised up first. All right, those martyrs that that lose their literally lose their life for this truth, are they going to be raised up first? Okay. It says, for for what is it for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange? Excuse me, for his soul. All right, if you gain the whole world but you lose your soul, that's Jake. That's our people. They sell out every damn day to this devil. All right, just for uh, for crumbs off his plate, okay? Like they say, piece piece of the pie. Jake and I even getting a piece of pie, piece of the pie. They're getting crumbs, and they lose their soul, and then they're shameful. All right, and they're gonna come back in the kingdom shame because of the way they went out, because they took that chip. All right, because they scoffed at the prophets, because you know uh, 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 they they in, continued to indulge in wickedness, and after they heard the truth. All right, for the son of man came. It's like it for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels and then shall reward every man according to his works. So everyone's going to be rewarded according to their works, whether their deeds were good, whether their deeds were wicked. OK, and the reward for two thirds is thermonuclear fire. The reward is written already written for the two thirds of Israel. The reward is already written for the elect. We just got to find out who's who. All right. Who's the elect? 
who's the one third of the hundred forty four thousand, and who the two thirds? And we, hey, and two thirds are making themselves uh, 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 known in these last days because they're coming against the prophets. All right, they're they're they're, they're doing uh, things contrary to the scriptures. They continue to indulge in wickedness after they heard the truth. All right, so there's no salvation for the two thirds. For the two thirds of Israel, or right, they have to be cut off and die. All right, and come back in their right mind in the kingdom of heaven. All right, next scripture I want to grab is the book of Romans, chapter 8. And um, let's see, four, yeah, four. That the righteous of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And this, and when you come into this truth, you have to walk after the flesh. Excuse me, that's Satan. You have to walk after the spirit, not the flesh. All right, and that's part of losing your life. All right. You can't do the things that you want to do all the time. You have to do the things that are righteous and, and right in the sight of your how All right. And that's a hey, that and it's and sometimes it may be hard, but that's when you pray. That's when you fast. That's when you call on your how about for guidance to help you get through these temptation when it may uh, when, when you may be uh, um, uh, test with temptation. OK, when you may temptation may be brought your way. All right. For they that are after the flesh. Do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. All right. So if you, you're doing the things of the flesh, you're going to mind your flesh. You're going to do things that's that's appeasing to you, that that that, that appease your flesh. All right. If you're going to do things con to the um, if you're going to do things in the spirit, all right. That they the spirit of your Shah is going to work with you. It's going to step with you. All right. You're going to see spiritual things. All right. The, the, the spirit is going to grow. You're going to grow in the spirit. All right. You're all right. Versus. Versus not growing in the spirit, you know, walking in the flesh. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because a carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. All right, so to be carnally minded, to walk in the flesh is death. All right, and and, and that's really the, the 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 state that our people are living in. Our people are living in a death death a death state right now. Because they walk in the flesh, they're carnally minded. All right, but but it says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. It's real life. It's you 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 really you you come to life when you get this truth. All right, when you walk in the spirit. All right. Let me grab uh, a few more scriptures. Uh, this is first first Peter chapter two and verse eleven. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly love. Excuse me, fleshly lust, which war against the soul. All right, it abstain from that fleshly love. You know the things that your flesh likes to do. Okay, and and, and you know newcomers is coming into this truth. It's going to be hard at first. All right, you know, um, you know, you're going to be tested with temptation. All right, things that and, and you're going to, you know, um, you're going to be tested with temptation, and, and you have to deny your flesh. All right, you may have to remove yourself from certain situations. All right, you know, you may have to, uh, um, you know, shit, be alone sometimes, just so you're not, uh, uh, you're not, um, what's the word? Um, you're not, uh, not intimidated. You're not, um, man, what's the word? Uh, you're not, excuse me, you're not influenced by the things that are surrounding you to, uh, 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 to, 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 um, to sin or to. To go off, okay. You have to walk against the flesh and abstain from that lust. You walk, excuse me, walk in the spirit and abstain from that lust, okay? Because it's a constant fight. It's a, it's a constant fight, and 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 Satan knows what buttons to push on you. All right, so you have. That's why you got to pray. That's why prayer is a key factor in this truth. All right, pray. You know, it, you have to fast sometimes. All right, call it a name. Just saying the name, you know, keeps you in the spirit and helps you fight your lust. All right. And all these things I'm saying is you have to do to you, you're doing to, um, you know, really lose your life. All right. Lose this wicked life that we once knew. All right. You have to, hey, that, 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 you have to put off the old man, as the scriptures say. All right. Put off that old man that that was that was really lost in the world. That was uh, uh, in a state of confusion. All right. Because really, our people are confused if you don't have this truth. All right. If you're not walking in the flesh, if you're not walking in the, the spirit. You're, you're really out there confused. You just. Like a damn zombie, pretty much. All right. I got uh, another scripture I want to grab Galatians 5 and uh, verse 16. And it reads, 
This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. All right, so it's a constant fight. All right, you're not going to, you know, it's only person to walk in the, in, in the spirit 100% was Yahweh Shai. All right, and don't think that temptation and the lust of the, the lust of the flesh and the, eye, the lust of the eyes was all around him. All right, he he was tempted daily. All right, but hey, what did he do? He fought. All right, sometimes he had to go away into the mountains and pray. All right, sometimes he just had to be by himself. All right, just like when he was in the garden of, garden of Gethsemane. All right, he hey, he went to go pray to his father that he would that 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 cup would pass from him, but he knew that he had to go with it, go through with it. All right, because of prophecy. All right, but hey, our Lord, he walked in the spirit and he was still he was still faced with all kind of temptation, all, all kind of wicked lust. All right, not the lust of his not not his his the lust of his uh, own flesh, but just the wicked shit around him. Okay. Um, I got a couple more scriptures I want to grab in the Book of Revelation, chapter two, and ten, and three and ten. It says, "Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast you, some of you." Into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay, faithful unto death. Like I said, you hey, it's gonna be brothers that may have to lose their life. Literally. Okay. But hey, that's if that's that's part of your lot to be a martyr, hey, so be it. All right. You know that that you got the if you want you know that you got the victory. All right, you're gonna be raised up first. Okay. The scripture says in the Psalms, precious. Is the uh is the um give me a shot for you. I'm gonna grab it real quick and then I'm gonna uh, go back to Revelations. This is Psalms chapter uh, 116 and uh, verse 15. It says, "Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of His saints." That that's the that that's precious to the heavenly Father. That's precious to Yahweh. Okay, when, when when one of His one of His um one of His saints, you know, is 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 put to death. All right, for 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 righteousness sake. All right, um, back in Revelation chapter two, and I want to read in eleven. He that he had he that had an ear. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. That's when you ultimately get saved. That's when you do. That's what you're saving your life from. That second death, thermonuclear fire. All right, these plagues. All right, really, the second death is that thermonuclear fire, but. You know, the plagues that are going to hit America and other parts of the world also. All right. But that second death, that 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 thermal nuclear fire being consumed by 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 fire in your body melting away. That's that second death that you want to lose your life to save it for. All right. Yeah, that's what you that's what you ultimately want to be saved from. All right. You know, it, hey, the Lord can bring you through all the plagues and then have a have you get judged in that thermal nuclear fire. All right. But you want to get saved from that second death. Ultimately, this is Revelation 3 and 10, and it reads, uh, because thou hast kept my word, the word of my patience, I was also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world and try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. So that's that's that. That's, you know, the Lord is building his prophets up, his, 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 the elect up to that hour of temptation. All right. That 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 hour of temptation is when Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is going to, you know, uh, make this. This CHIP, CHIP, this mark of the beast, mandatory. All right, and if you're living, and if you're living in the, uh, uh, you're living in the flesh. All right, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna get right into it. All right, if you, you haven't up to that point, if you haven't lost your life for your how about your shy sake, hey, you, hey, it's lost. All right, all right, you, you can't save it. All right, unless the Lord, you know, uh, uh, you know, from, you know, does a miracle, and, and you know, but. The point of the lesson is you got to lose your life to save it. All right. So you got to, you know, walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. All right. So Lord, within this lesson was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praise, glory and honor unto your how about you. Shine. Till next time I say Shalom.